Hi, boys and girls. So for today's art activity or connection, we're thinking about all the amazing holidays we've had this month, right? So we had the Super Bowl. We've had Valentine's Day. It's Black History Month for the entire month. We have Chinese New Year, which is the year of the ox. We have President's Day, which was days off from school. And we even had 100 Day. Well, what you're going to do is you need one of these pieces of paper and they're attached on the link or you got a copy from your teacher if you're a student who's in school and in just a moment I'm going to change the camera angle and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're not going to ordinarily color these. We're going to do some new challenges using the elements of art. So I bet you didn't know that there are elements to art and all art is created with these different elements. Really good pieces of art have maybe many of these. So we have line. Well, these drawings are already a line, but we can use different types of lines like thick lines, thin lines to make lines to fill them in. We can make shapes inside of them. We can use color by using it, combining it with our lines. We could use different colored lines, different colored shapes. Now value is something where you have light and dark of a color. And then we can also look at texture or pattern. So I'm going to challenge you to try and color one of these sheets with line, shape, color, and pattern or a texture. How can you do that? Well, let me give you an idea. One of the simple things is if we looked at the American flag, right? It's already a pattern, the original flag, because it starts out with one stripe being red, and then the next stripe is white, and they continue as a pattern, red, white, red, white, red, white. So that's one pattern that you can do. Another pattern that you could do is what if we filled in the stars and we made it blue star, white star, blue star, white star, or we colored the letters red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white, blue. Those are ways we can do a pattern. What if we look at the 100 days of school and we decide to design this using lines? Well, I could do wavy lines inside of it and look what color they are. They are blue. So those are two elements to color this. I am using blue wavy lines to color this in. Now, I might do the next one. I might use shapes. I might use circles and I'll color in with magenta circles. So I have two elements of art. I have color and I have shape. Now for the next one, I'm really going to stretch it. I'm going to go for line, shape, and color. How can I do that? Well, there's a lot of choices with that. I'll take a marker and I'm going to make lines through it. I'm going with thin lines. Now remember, you can change this up and go with thick lines also, right? Or medium lines, different types of Drawing tools will give you different shapes or thicknesses of lines. Fat marker, skinny marker, pencil with a point, pencil with a not good point. All right. So now I'm going the other direction. Well, I have lines. Inside of these, I can put shapes. Okay, so I'm putting shapes inside of my O's. All right. Now, I didn't use any color. Every, well, I did use color, but they're all the same color. So I'm going to switch it up now, and I am going to color a triangle in some of these with a different kind of green. Now, I could really blow your mind and stretch this and go for a pattern. I did not do that for this one. I am just doing it random, but I could. So let's see. I'll take another one of these designs. All right, so here I have this. I'm going to do this part of the football stadium. So I'm going to put lines in here. I'm going for hash marks like. Is this a pattern? Yes. One, two, three, four little lines. One big line. One, two, three, four little lines. One big line. I've got a pattern going on. Now I can add some shapes if I would like to. So I'm going to choose another marker. And so I'm going to put in some rectangles just because. Fill it in with some rectangles. 
Okay, so challenge yourself, fill them out. But when you look at the one design with the ox for Chinese New Year, this has some amazing designs in it. So you've got shapes in here. You've got lines, they're thin and thick. Now this one, if you choose to do this one, you might just choose the way you color it to color in each of these cute little spaces with different colors and going around and changing it up. They're really small, so make sure you have a fine tipped marker or a pencil. This one would be a real challenge at its current size to make out of crown. So look at all of the different spaces and color them in in different colors. Take your time, enjoy the design, and I look forward to hearing about your experience using line, shape, color, and definitely pattern and texture in the way you decorate these interesting worksheets celebrating our month of February. You are going to embellish a worksheet. Try to use as many of the elements of art as you can. Line, color, shape, pattern.